Happy Friday, everybody. Good morning. It is Melanie, and I am in a great mood. Um, just a quick update. I know that the last time I was here, I was saying that I was having a stuck episode, and I was doing really bad, and, um, yeah, that was not the end of it, the time that I had recorded. Uh, it actually went all the way on till maybe the early evening. Um, and I was still stuck, like, maybe in the evening. When I was, I, I remember going home, it was 5 p.m. Um, I had returned Rosemary's uh, call, uh, Gastric Rose, and we were talking, and, um, I told her I was not able to hold anything down, even liquids, and I just kept throwing everything back up. Um, so I was very concerned at that point because I was, um basically throwing up from the day before you know because it had started at night time from the previous day and it had gone all the way up till the afternoon of the next day so I was very very concerned because I did not want to get dehydrated I had not everything that I basically just put in my mouth it was just not even going down at the least neither was liquids so that was a problem and I was thinking if this doesn't get resolved by tonight I'm gonna have to end up going into my doctor's office and getting an unfell. Um, anything over 24 hours, you have to really go into the doctor's office and, you know, uh, seek medical attention. So just wanted to bring that up there. Uh, however, uh, by nighttime, maybe about uh, I would say eight or nine o'clock, I was able to try um, to get some food down, and that was a good thing. And I was like, well, thank God, now I don't have to go into the doctor's and get an unfell. Uh, but yeah just just a quick warning that anything going past 24 hours if you can't get any liquids down and you still stuck go to the doctors and get some attention um, so I'm doing fine I'm doing great um, I have good news well not good news yeah it is good news at that um, tomorrow is actually my birthday my 29th birthday so yay! I'm so happy I'm going to celebrate and tomorrow's actually, I share a birthday with Wendy's husband, Craig. So happy birthday, Craig. Um, so tomorrow I am going out partying and um, celebrating. I'm going out clubbing, actually. I'm going to go and celebrate it with uh, one of my friends, my good friends. We're going to share a birthday together. Uh, so that's going to be lots and lots of fun. Um, also, what I wanted to say is that as a big huge surprise you guys know that I've been struggling to get under my goal weight of 160 pounds well today the scale said 159 yay I am actually under my goal weight after struggling for like two months and teeter totterly uh, around maybe between 162 to 167 so I am actually now under my goal weight of 159 and it's only going to go under because that's what I wanted to do uh, for the longest time you guys know that I've been in maintenance and my um, maintenance range was between anywhere between 154 to 157 which is where I want it to be back down again so I've been struggling for like a good two I would say two or three months to get back under 160 so hopefully it stays under there but I was really, really excited. Last last weekend, uh, I was able to get up to uh, 160. Uh, but I didn't move under there. I only went right back up. Because what happens is during the weekends, I stay under a very strict diet during the week. And this is the way that it's always been for a very, very long time. I stay under a very, very strict diet for like a whole complete week. And then during the weekends, what does Melanie do? She becomes Miss... Uh, how do you say? <laughs> uh, like we go on, I don't give a f mode, and we just like eat whatever, and um, basically we don't apply the rules that we apply on the weekdays. So that's me on the weekends. I eat whatever I want, and um, I could gain as much as I swear to you, seven pounds in two days, and that's not even no joke because that happened to me last weekend. I had my uh, sister's bridal shower, which I had planned. And, uh, yeah, that was a big fiesta, and it had a, we had a whole bunch of um, liquor, and we had a whole bunch of Spanish foods. If you, if you guys are Spanish out there, you know what I, what I, what I mean. I mean, I ate it up. <laughs> and uh, within one day, I had gained, I think, uh, six pounds. I went from 160 
on uh, Friday and Saturday to like Monday I was 167 so I was freaking out so um you know I, I did lose um what was it eight pounds in a week because today is Friday uh but I how do you say I lost so much um I guess in a matter of a day I lost I think three or four pounds because I was throwing up so much and that's not a good thing because of my stuck episode and I didn't even eat for like uh, I think a whole day and a half you know I wasn't able to push anything down because of what happened to me which is not a good thing it's not helping and, and I don't recommend it to anybody I mean that's that's extremely painful and um yeah um but um down to 159 today and I'm pushing to to get back under my average weight of 154 to 157 I have to say that um I I look forward to my birthdays because uh what happened is that um my birthday looking at my birthday pictures I had my surgery on January 6 2009 right um, so looking at my birthday pictures in 2008 was what contributed me to having weight loss surgery looking at back at those pictures and they were horrific and I was like no this is it I have to do something and um, that 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 marked a period in my life where I totally changed my life and I was like you know I'm done basically you know I have I gotta do what I gotta do um, so I had the surgery right in January of 2009 and then by October you know my I think it was my 26th birthday if I'm not mistaking or 20 yeah I think it was my 26th birthday back in 2009 I had already had reached my goal weight. I had reached my goal weight on August 2009. By October, I had the my, my dream body. Of course, I didn't have the curves because I didn't have, of course, the boobs or the butt. You know, I was just like, but I, I still look good. <laughs> and um, I was really enjoying life. So it's a big NSV for the last two years. And this year coming up, of course, because tomorrow is my birthday, my 29th birthday. It's a good way each year to look back at each birthday picture um, and um, going forward I mean it's just amazing looking at those pictures because it was like you know my 25th birthday I looked at that picture and I was like this is it I mean I look like a fat pig and I have to do something about it to the the year after that and looking at that picture and then just the years progressing and looking better and better I mean that's a huge huge uh, goal of mine and a huge NSV so um, I am going of course all out <laughs> um, getting a nice dress you know uh, showing as much skin as possible because you know what they say you got you gotta flaunt it so um, yeah that's that's a really big thing of mine each each and every birthday um, but I just wanted to give you a quick update saying I'm 159 today yay and um, tomorrow is a huge day for me because, of course, I'll be celebrating um, my birthday and also uh, the point, the date that totally changed my life around and, and made my decision to have weight loss surgery. So I hope you guys all have a great day and I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.